Hi friends! Today is going to be my TBR for the month of June. <laughs> If you are not following me on Instagram, which you should be, it's linked down below, I posted a photo of my reading plans for June. Um, it was interesting to say the very least. Uh, there's a lot going on, so let's get to it. Felt off center. Am I center now? I don't know. Uh, in the month of June, I have the whatever thon or the whatever you want to thon, depending on how you want to call it, um, that I will be doing, which is the entire month of June. Um, that is done by Maddie at Book Browsing Blog. I will link that in the description box down below if you want to know more of how that's going to work. Um, so there's that. There's also the Queer Lit Readathon that's running from the 6th through the 12th and that is hosted by a few different people. I'll leave them linked in the description box down below if you want to know more about the Queer Lit Readathon. And I also will be hosting my own readathon this month, the Summer Scare Readathon, as I typically do in the summer. And that this year is going to be the 21st, which is the first day of summer to the 27th. I will be doing a separate video for the books for the Summer Scare Readathon, but today we're going to talk about all the rest of the books that I plan to read in the month of June. Um, there are 24 books that I plan to read in June. Is it going to happen? No, nobody believes it's going to happen. But we're going to talk about it anyway. So the first thing that I want to discuss is that there are a shit ton of arcs that I need to read that I'm behind on. No one's surprised. So the arcs that I need to read are still Slingshot, Kisses and Croissants. I think those were the ones that came out in April. Uh, the ones that came out in May were Sloppy Firsts, Ten Truths and a Dare, uh, Spells Trouble, also People We Meet on Vacation. That is correct. Uh, also this month I need to read the AuthorTube chat book club pick which for this month is I Believe in a Thing Called Love by Maureen Gu. I'm not sure what date we're going to do the AuthorTube chat this month um, because uh, I have another thing going on on our typical day um, so Kate and I have to adjust and I don't know if we're going to do like the following day which would be the 16th or if we're going to do the following week which would be the 22nd but it's going to be one of those two days but I don't know which yet but I will know soon-ish and I'll let you know when I do know. Basically for the whatever you want to thon there were um, groups that you could join for buddy reads and I just decided that those were the other books that I was going to fill my month up with. Um, so I'm doing a buddy read for Moxie by Jennifer Matu. This is follows a girl named Vivian who lives in this high school world where they're very misogynistic very much like the girls that belong barefoot and pregnant in the kitchen there's like a whole thing there is a movie about it on Netflix if you haven't watched that yet the movie is very good I don't know if the book is very good because I haven't read it yet um I imagine they're similar but I don't know um but the book follows her creating this zine called Moxie and trying to convince the girls in her school to fight back against the misogynistic views of the school culture. One of the other buddy reads that I joined was for Witches Steeped in Gold by Shannon Smart. Uh, this is a Jamaican inspired fantasy that follows a girl whose family was the ruling family, like the royal family of this kingdom. And her parents, I believe everybody was killed but her, and she is kept as a prisoner. And the other character, the other main character is the girl whose mother is the one that took over the kingdom. And her mom is kind of evil and basically killed her older sister to take her magic so that she could continue ruling the kingdom and she doesn't want her mom to kill her so she helps the other girl escape and they are trying to fight to kill off the new ruler who was also one of the girl's moms. So there's that. Also on here is A Darker Shade of Magic by B.E. Schwab which will be a reread for me. I did read it last year or the year before and I didn't love it. And I feel like I should love it. Like I feel like it's one of those books and especially it's because I've read so much more Schwab since then that I have just like five starred and absolutely loved. I'm wondering why I didn't love that so much and I'm wondering if maybe I was just like in a bad moment in my reading which is why I always say even if I don't enjoy a book by an author I will read more by them moving forward because I may love more of it in the future. So I'm going to go ahead and reread it. Um, with the buddy read group and see if I enjoy it now. I'm not sure but that's a decision that I made. For the week of the Queer Lit Readathon I just picked like a queer book to read every day-ish. 
Um, I have five of those that I'm going to read. I don't know that they really fit any of the challenges for the Queer Lit Readathon, um, which I will, again, link down below if you want to know more of all of that. Um, I don't know that they really fit any of the challenges, but I had several queer books that I wanted to get through this month uh, because it is Pride Month, so I just decided to put those in that week and roll with it. Um, the first of which is actually the group book pick for the Avengers Initiative Reading Challenge, and that is This Is How You Lose the Time War. So that's one I will be picking up. Another is Sweet and Bitter Magic by Adrian Tooley. I got this last month or the month before in the Owlcrate. Um, so it's like the pretty Owlcrate edition. Tamsin is a super powerful witch who does something that goes against the code of the like council of these people. Because she breaks their rules, they take away her ability to love. And the only way she's able to get back her ability to love is for people to willingly give it to her. And then Ren, who is a source, which is someone that is considered very powerful in this community of witches, she decides to kind of hide her powers from the community so that she can stay and take care of her ill father. And there is a witch that cursed her father and she in wrangles Tamsin to help her destroy this witch and tells her that in return she'll give her her father's love, her love for her father in return. Yeah. And uh, it's sapphic, it's gay, they end up together or something probably at the end. So I'm just gonna read it and see what happens. Uh, the other three books that I have on my list for this week are House in the Cerulean Sea, which if you've been on Bookshop, you know what it's about. I mean, just as much as I do. It's about a guy whose job it is to go around and check on houses of orphan children. And the particular house he's going to is where they send like the bad children. I don't know. I know one of the kids is like the son of the Antichrist or is the Antichrist. I don't really know. And it's a romance between the guy going around checking on houses and the guy who is the head of the house. I don't know. One of the others that I want to read is All Boys Aren't Blue by George M. Johnson. It is like a memoir manifesto about his life so I want to read that. And then Summer of Salt by Katrina Leno which I don't know a whole lot about but I know that it's a sapphic romance so I want to read that. Uh, those are the five books that I plan to read for the Queer Lit Readathon but again do they fit any of the challenges? I don't know. Is that everything? I believe that's everything except for the books from the blah 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 yep that's everything so those are all of the books that I plan to read in the month of June stands the week of the summer scare readathon which I will be posting a video for a little bit closer to the time of the readathon um I have a lot to read this month it's probably not going to happen but it's good to to dream right um I will be prioritizing books that I already own on this readathon. Okay, books I already own or books that are ARCs. Um, things that I don't already own will not be a priority, but uh, you know, who knows what will happen. Let me know in the comments below if you've read any of these books, if you have any that you highly recommend, or if you have any reasons why I should skip some of them. I don't know. Let me know down below. That is all I have for today. I post reading, writing, book, and planner related videos a couple of times a week. If you don't want to miss anything I have going in the future, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell down below. And until then, I will see you guys next time. Bye!